Hello and welcome to my channel. This is the Nomadic Goddess and I am Jasmine. This is going to be a general monthly reading for the sign of Gemini for the month of May. You don't have to be just a Gemini Sun. You can be a Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury. And just because I said it's for the month of May doesn't mean it's solely for that time. It's for whenever you are guided to my channel and decide to hit play. Because this is a journal reading, you shouldn't take everything with you. If the shoe fits, lace it up, find a matching pair, and travel well. If it does not fit, leave it. There's no need to carry messages that do not feel true for you. I am clear audience, so that means the divine, what you want to call it, spirit, god, goddess, universe, source, it gives me messages via songs, bits and pieces of movies that I've seen, and books that I've read. Now, with the songs, they do get stuck in my head and I will sing them. Unfortunately, I cannot sing. So, if you guys can put up with my non-singing so <laughs> I hope you enjoy, discover something new about yourself, and don't be afraid to dive deep. With that said, let's get started. What messages do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury? What messages do we have for Gemini? What messages do we have? for the month of May. Hmm. Ooh, double zero. I am observant. And 27, I am expressive. All right, well, one more. Oh. Ooh, 99, I am courageous. Do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury? I am not taking. 
your nose. for my Gemini's. Mm, forgiveness, okay. and false beliefs and last not least accountability what messages do we have for Gemini Sun Moon Rising and Mercury what messages do we have for my Gemini's. What messages do we have for Gemini's? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. For the month of May. Something has changed. Which is do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury? Ooh, oh, happy day. <laughs> Calm your tits. And deep, intimate connections. Gemini. First up, we have 13. I can get the card. <laughs> it says, you are a con... con oh. You are a... Conscious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track. As you work steadily toward your goals, I am confident. Then we have the double zero. Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes, listen and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. I am observant. Oops. Now we have 27. Your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate toward all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. I am expressive. And lastly, we have 99. It is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life 
that is yours and only yours to fulfill, unleash your true power. I am courageous. <clears throat> oh, my Geminis, are you guys, uh, I feel like you guys are in a sense. your fear of your own powers of your own gifts is what's holding you back i'm hearing all right next we have forgiveness her blocks are light then we have radical curiosity seeing as if for the first time every time then we have false false beliefs once the untruths that we believe about ourselves are illuminated, so are the ways we can release the false limitations they confine us to. Lastly, we have accountability. Responsibility is a gift of love to yourself and others. I'm hearing that With the accountability card, you guys may need to, especially if you're just starting off on your journey, and this feeling that you're getting is coming from your inner teen, it's coming from your inner child, but mostly your inner, yeah, it's, it's coming from your inner teen, whereas my parents are the reason that I'm this fucked up, or my parents are the way, my parents are the reason why I'm this traumatized, or I'm this way. Yes, that is true in a sense that, yes, your parents are behind you being traumatized and not being able to speak up for yourself, especially if your emotions were neglected or if you had a neglect or abandonment. Yes, but once you reach a certain age, once you reach, reach adulthood, that responsibility turns into yours. So therefore, your guides are asking you to take accountability. Yes, that responsibility does fall on your parents for gifting you that trauma, for gifting you um, that hurt and that pain, but it is now your responsibility to say what you are going to do with it. I feel like <clears throat> for some of you, for most of you, you're coming out of this, like you're you're stepping into the accountability and it's stripping away a lot of the false beliefs that you do have. And it's also helping you approach life, approach a lot of your life's problems in like a childlike state. It's like, um, you guys are coming to an understanding that um, you, you guys are coming into an understanding that what was done to you was done to your parents. And it's also helping you into the forgiveness and stepping into forgiveness. Now, I'm not saying that you have to forgive these people out loud. No. And I'm not saying you have to um, forget what these people did to you or what your parents did to you. What I'm saying is the forgiveness. You have to forgive yourself for one, you have to forgive yourself for allowing yourself to dwell in that hurt and pain for longer than you should have. But also you have to forgive yourself for allowing those people to continuously treat you that way, even though you knew you deserved better. Next, we have the only constant thing is change. The five, five, five. Also, if you are seeing numbers like this, or like, like if you're seeing double zero or two, 22 or 13, um, make sure you're tapping in with your spirit team so they can tell you exactly what they're trying to um, say to you so they can deliver the message. Because yes, it's okay and it's amazing to know the general meaning of five, 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 but to get a more tailor-made answer and um from especially from your spirit team i would 
tap in whether that be meditation or um, automatic writing tap in and ask your spirit team like hey what are you trying to get me to see what are you trying to get me to what are you trying to say to me with these numbers then we have oh happy day um i feel like especially for a lot of you this energy is um being very very change focused like it's like driving and like it's like upgrading and um a lot of people especially a lot of gemini's that i know my dad is a gemini um so like he's been dealing with what we call ascension flu where it's like he's having these headaches um and he's not actually like sick he's not like it's just like he's having these headaches and like he's really really tired and so <laughs> i told him earlier i was like it's because you're gaining another level of consciousness like you're leaving one consciousness and you're gaining another one like it's because it's because um your consciousness is elevating and he was like that's what that is so i feel like for a lot of you gemini's with this energy with this um new moon in aries but also with the solar eclipse i don't think the new moon was in aries I take that back it may have been in aries i gotta double check but i know with the solar eclipse and it being aries season um aries season um that this energy is elevating a lot of you guys especially if you're i feel like it's especially if you have like double air so if you're like air sun air moon or air sun air ascendant like you're ascending um at a calm or at a rapid pace right now next we have calm your tits <laughs> i'm hearing with calm your tits card everything does not have to be a battle everything does not have to be a fight um everything doesn't have to you don't have to allow everything to get, get you in a tizzy i'm hearing um, and a lot of the times because especially for some of you the people that you're dealing with they love getting reactions out of you like it's it's how they uh it's kind of sort of like energy harvesting it's 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 like an energy vampire like they feed off of your anger they feed off of your um of you being upset so the best way to do that is to learn how to master your emotions because once you master your emotions you rule your emotions and you don't give that power to other people like if people can make you upset and you stay upset that means that those people are ruling over your emotions and why would you give someone so much power over yourself you shouldn't and next we have deep intimate connection with the two two two. Oh, aww, I feel like a lot of you guys are longing for a deep intimate connection because like I'm literally I literally just got the song. It's been a long, long time coming. But I know a change gonna come. Um, you guys have been preoccupied with doing your work or like dragging yourself out of you out of your depression that now it's just like you're you're kind of sort of um i won't say you're lonely you're just longing for intimacy and connection and there's nothing wrong with that but i will say um please make sure you're discerning who you give your time and energy to because for those of you, especially if you have abandonment issues, and especially if you have wounds around nurturing, but I do see like a, a I won't say a relationship. Well, a friendship is a relationship, um, but I, I don't see like a romantic relationship yet for some of you guys. But I do see like a friendship that is starting to bloom and it's going to feel nurturing for a lot of you a lot of you it's gonna be really really nurturing it's gonna be something that you're not used to all right gemini that was your reading i hope to see you again 
if you like the video or like the reading please like share subscribe and comment i love to get the feedback from you guys i love reading your comments and when i get a chance if there are comments i will respond back to you all right joe and i see you next month bye